Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby booties for a baby between six and nine months old. They're very easy to make. I made them to match the set that I showed you already for a baby boy from six to nine months, which includes the matching hat, the matching pants, and the little cardigan. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link to those tutorials. Now, I also went ahead and did another version of these baby booties this one here this one I used the same stitch which is the alpine stitch I'll go ahead and upload this tutorial after this one so stay tuned for that as well okay so I hope you like them and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn to begin I have 15 chains into the third chain from the hook one two three I'm going to make a double crochet a double crochet into the next chain double crochet into the next chain and so on here we're going to work 12 double crochets so one double crochet on each one of the chains I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we're going to do into this last chain okay I'm here at the end I only have one chain left here and I did a total of 12 double crochets here at the end we have two chains as well okay so here into this last chain right here we're going to make seven double crochets that's one two three four five six seven double crochets into this last chain let's see we have two four six seven now we're going to go back along this side of the chain and work these 12 double crochets so here into this first chain right there that's one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven and twelve double crochets now we need to make seven more double crochets just like we did here into the last stitch so here just go into this stitch you see it's right there it's um, make sure that it's this stitch right here right in the very center or what you can do is just go into the first chain out of these two right there at the very end I think I'm going to do that instead go in there and make your seven double crochets one two three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row. So we have 12 double crochets along this side then we did seven double crochets into the last chain, and then we worked 12 double crochets along this other side, and then we did seven double crochets along this side. So you should have a total of 38 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one, and here we're going to change to half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, and make your first half double crochet. That's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven half double crochets, and twelve. Now into the next seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're going to work two half double crochets into each one of them. So that's two into the next, make two half double crochets, three and four, into the next two more, five and six, into the next, seven and eight, into the next, nine and ten, into the next, eleven and twelve, into the next, thirteen and fourteen. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Now, we're going to continue along this side and make these twelve half double crochet sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve half double crochets, and into the next seven we're going to work two half double crochets into each one. Two, four, six, seven. So beginning into this next one, make two half double crochets into the next two half double crochets, that's three and four, into the next five and six, into the next seven and eight, into the next nine and ten, into the next eleven and twelve, into the next thirteen and fourteen. Now to finish this second row, go on top of the first half double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the second row with a total of, let's see, we have 12 along this side, 12 along this side, and then here we did 14. So 14 plus 14 plus 24. So that's a total of 52 stitches. Now I'll come back and show you the third row. Okay, so now for the third row, we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here, make one half double crochet. Here we're going to work 15 half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 half double crochets. Now into the next 11 stitches, we're going to work two half double crochets into each one of these next stitches. So beginning into the next stitch, make two half double crochets. That's one and two into the next, three and four into the next, five and six into the next, seven and eight into the next, nine and ten, into the next, eleven and twelve, into the next, thirteen and fourteen, into the next, 
15 and 16 into the next 17 and 18 into the next 19 and 20 and into the last one 21 and 22 now here we're going to work these 15 half double crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay now into the last eleven stitches two four six eight ten eleven you're going to do the same thing we did here two half double crochets into each one so that's one and two three and four five and six seven and eight nine and ten eleven and twelve thirteen and fourteen fifteen and sixteen seventeen and eighteen nineteen and twenty and into the last twenty one and twenty two now to finish go to the top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the third row now in this third row we did 15 for this side 15 for this side and then on both ends we did 22 and 22 so that gives us a total of 74 half double crochets okay i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay so we finished making the third row and we have a total of 74 half double crochets all around what i did here is cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and i went ahead and did the other one so here we're going to continue along we're going to find the center of the back of the baby booty so all i did was fold it like this and then i put a stitch marker right there so i'm going to remove the stitch marker now and i'm just going to insert my hook right there okay so this is where i had my stitch marker so into this half double crochet i'm going to insert my hook like this so we're going to have a total of 11 front post double crochets for this side here up to here so let's see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect just want to make sure that this is the center stitch now grab this loop bring it through the front like this and chain two one two now into this same stitch insert your hook again like this and make a front post double crochet the two chains do not count as a stitch. Okay, so here's our first front post double crochet. Then into the next, do the same thing. Front post double crochet. Into the next, front post double crochet, and so on. Continue like this all around. And I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 74 half double crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first half double crochet, not the chains, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now here, what we're going to do is into this same stitch here, right there, I'm going to make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and so on for this row this is all we're going to do which is just one double crochet for each one of the double crochets from the previous row i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 74 double crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two. Remember that two chains never count as a double crochet. Now into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet, then a double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. Here you're just going to continue making double crochets until you come to this stitch marker that I have here. We're going to make a total of 25 stitches and then I put a stitch marker here. So between this stitch marker and the next stitch marker we have 24 stitches. So I recommend that you do the same thing. Put these stitch markers there. Okay, so continue like this until we have 25 double crochets and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 25 double crochets, so now here we have these next 24 stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. We're going to work these stitch reductions. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. From here on, I'm just going to continue and do the same thing until I finish this part here. And we should be left with 12 stitch reductions, which count as one double crochet. Okay, so this is the last one. There it is, and now we should have 12 stitch reductions. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect. Now here we're just going to continue along this part and work these 25 double crochets. Just like this. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. To finish, go to the top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row. Now, in this row, we have 25 stitches for this side, 25 stitches for this side, that's 50 stitches, plus 12 stitches that we have here. Remember, these stitch reductions count as one double crochet, so that's 62 stitches all around this third row. Now, for the fourth row, you're going to chain two and in into the same stitch you did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet. Now for this fourth row here, we're going to work 23 double crochets. So I'll meet you here to show you once we're done with these 23 double crochets to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 23 double crochets here. So now what we're going to do is into the next two stitches, we're going to work a stitch reduction. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Okay, now we have the stitch reductions that we worked in the previous row, so we're going to do the same thing. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And this is how I'm going to continue for this part here. Just reducing this part a bit further.
Now, let's see how many stitches we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, continue along this other side, just making one double crochet for each one of these double crochets. Here we're going to have 23 stitches, or 23 double crochets, so I'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. We have a total of 54 stitches for this row. We have 23, 23, and then eight here. Now, to finish this row, go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the fifth row, you're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. Here, we're going to make a total of 21 double crochets. So continue like this, make these 21 stitches, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 21 double crochets. Now, what we're going to do into the next two double crochets is we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now here, we're going to do the same thing we did on the previous row, we're going to reduce this a bit further. So insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. This is all I'm going to do here, just work these stitch reductions. Now for this part here we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And now here just continue along and work these 21 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. For this row we have 48 stitches. We have 21, 21 plus six. So that's 48 stitches. Now to finish this row, go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two in to the same stitch we do the slip stitch, make your first double crochet. Here we're going to make a total of 17 double crochets. So I'll meet you here once we have these 17 stitches to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 17 double crochets, so now what we're going to do is into these next four stitches, we're going to work a stitch reduction again. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now here we have these six stitches that we have right in the very center, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to reduce um, in this row again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, yarn over, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops, close. This is what I'm going to do here one more time. Okay, now we have the next four stitches, so yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops, close. Again, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops, close. Now here we're going to finish by making these last 17 double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I finished making these 17 double crochets for this side. So we have 17 plus 17 plus seven here in the front. So that's a total of 41 stitches for this sixth row. Now to finish, go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the seventh row, you're going to chain two and into this first stitch here where I did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet. Now here, we're going to work two stitch reductions at the beginning and at the end. So to do that, you're going to go into the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, 
into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. So here's our two stitch reductions. We're going to do the same thing here at the end. Now from here on, all we're going to do are double crochets all around. So one double crochet for each one of the stitches, including the stitches here in the front. One double crochet for each one of these seven stitches we have here. Continue along like this and I'll meet you here at the end right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I still have these five stitches left. So now to finish, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. So here are two stitch reductions. Now to finish, on top of the last double crochet, make your last double crochet. To finish the row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row now. I have a total of 37 stitches for this row number seven. Now for row eight, we're going to chain two and into this first double crochet, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. Into the next, this big one that's a stitch reduction, I'm going to work into a back post double crochet. The next one, front post, double crochet. Next one, back post, double crochet. This is how we're going to work this eighth row, alternating between a front post, double crochet, and then a back post, double crochet. Continue along like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the eighth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. This one here was a front post double crochet. Now, for that ninth row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to chain two, and these stitches, we're going to work them in the same way. The first one is a front post double crochet. The second is a back post double crochet. The third front post, and so on. We're just going to do the exact same thing all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the ninth row by joining here to the beginning with a slip stitch, and this is what it looks like. Now, for the tenth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, what we're going to do are double crochets all around, but we're only going to go through the front loop of each one of the stitches. So, insert your hook through the front loop and make a double crochet. Again, through the front loop of the next, a double crochet, and so on. This is all we're going to do for this row, so make sure that you go through the front loop of each one of these stitches all around. I'll meet you at the end of this 10th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 10th row. All I did here was join to the first double crochet uh, with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now, for the next couple rows, this is what we're going to do. Um, this is where we finish, so we're going to insert our hook um, into this stitch right there, right next to where we just finished. And I'm going to grab this loop in this blue color, bring it through the front, and chain two. One, two. Into this same stitch here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Then the next double crochet here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet. Then on top of the next, a double crochet. The next one, front post double crochet. On top of the next, double crochet. Then front post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue. So I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now, what I'm going to do here to finish is, these are the two chains right there, so I'm going to work a front post double crochet there, so that when I join here, there is no gap here in between, so I'm adding another stitch here. So to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, we're going to work three more rows. So you're going to chain two, and here you're going to look at the first and the second stitch. In the previous row, we started with a double crochet, so now in this row, we're going to start with a front post double crochet, like this. You're basically doing the opposite of what you did on the previous row. On top of the front post double crochets, you're going to make a double crochet, and all the double crochets are going to be worked into front posts double crochets. 
on top of all of the front post double crochets you're going to make a double crochet and so on when you finish this row you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch on top of the double crochet chain two and then look at your stitch from the previous row and then determine how you're going to start in this case you're going to start with a double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then in the fourth row you're going to start with a front post double crochet and then a double crochet so it's the opposite of what you do on the previous row continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the third row i decided to only do three rows instead of the four that i told you i was going to do um, this part here i don't want it too long um, this one here has four rows so that's what it looks like if you want to go ahead and do four rows it's going to be a bit wider um, whereas this one here is not as wide now here all i did was join to the beginning uh, with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done i also went ahead and added this string here this is just 100 chains that i did and i weaved it right here into this row of front post and back post double crochets right there it's just um, weaving it in there and then bringing it out um, once this part here is done through through this side here right here and then i added this little lamb um, buttons and i added these little pompons at the end here to make these pompons all you have to do is um, just wrap it around your finger like this a couple times well not a couple times maybe 50 60 times like this and then remove it from your fingers and then tie tie it here and then cut it and then shape it and that's all I did see and there it is so this baby booty is done now I also went ahead and did another version which is these here um, this one here I did it with the alpine stitch this here is a bit more difficult I'd say so I decided to make an easier version for those of you who want the matching baby booties for the little cardigan and pants that I um, showed you already so stay tuned for this tutorial I think I'll upload this one first and then I'll do this one next okay so this has been today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time